So, you want to make a pixel art slime? Well, you've come to the right place because I know all about pixel art and I know all about slime. Don't really know how, but but listen, I, I was born with this knowledge, okay? It's, it, it, I was born with it. Hey guys, welcome back to Touch by Kai. I'm Kai and today we are back in a sprite once again. Uh, it's been a long time, so I figure we'll just get in here and just do some cool stuff. I do not want to wait because we got a lot of stuff to do today, so I'm going to go ahead and turn my brush onto Pixel Perfect up here. And I'm just going to kind of make a, a random shape like like this, I guess, right? Looks nice, right? Cool. I'm actually going to put that like that. There we go. All right. Um, so let me actually move this over. I'm going to hit B to make a... Actually, wait, no. M? It's B. I forgot what it was. No, B is brush, M. I'm going to hit M for the selection box here. And I'm going to move this over so this line is straight here. Um, there we go. That's what I want. I'm going to move all this over in general, just in the center uh, portion of it. All right, cool. I'm going to actually move it down. Uh, uh, no, we'll move it up. If you were doing a sprite for a video game, of course, you would probably put it at the bottom so that it could be you know, resting on the ground. But for today, I'm just doing the center because um, I want to make a shadow. So, I'm going to select, deselect, and I'm going to change this color to a nice green color, and then just hit G to bucket fill inside of that nice slime there. Um, I'm going to create a lighter color, so just drag that up into the left, and maybe a little bit, change the hue a little bit. I'm going to hit B to go to the brush uh, tool, I'm going to just make a nice little circle in the middle of this, where I believe as if would be the center focus of the slime. Right there looks pretty good to me. Um, I like it. I like it. I think this green is a little bit too dark, so I'm going to hit I to eye drop this and then just lighten it up a little bit. And then there we go. Put it back. Cool. Um, now, I kind of want to actually, I keep doing that. I kind of want to actually get rid of that, make it a little bit more roundish. Yeah, there we go. That's what I'm talking about right there, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Yeah, I enjoy that. Cool, cool, cool. All right, cool. Now, uh, we're going to do the face. So I'm going to grab a nice dark color like this, and we're going to create, turn off pixel perfect, and I'm going to create two eyeballs like that. Actually, I kind of want to make them, this kind of looks like an avocado. <laughs> kind of like avocado. I'm going to do that, and I'm going to put a little mouth in between the eyes here, um, and I'm going to pull it all over so that it looks like he's looking to the left-hand side. Um, there we go. All right, cool. Um, I think I'm going to make the, should I do that? Yeah, we're going to do that instead. All right, cool. We're going to do that, but I'm going to darken it actually a little bit. So do like that. There we go. Um, and then I'll use this as a softener, I suppose. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool, cool. All right, so now what I'm going to do, I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to feather this a little bit. So it's kind of harsh. Um, what I'm going to do is we're going to hit I to eye drop this. And I drop this lighter color, right? And then I'm going to turn down the opacity a little bit so that it looks like that. And I'm going to just go ahead and paint in some of these edges here so that it looks like it has a softer transition into the slime. So all, all of these edges and corners and whatnot. There we go. A little bit of anti-aliasing by hand there. So the same thing I'm going to do for the outside of the um, of the slime here. So I'm going to hit I to eye drop the dark the darker color and then I'm just going to darken it just a little tiny bit and then yeah that looks good to me we'll just do something like that and then I don't want to go too crazy with this because it can start looking weird um, I'm only going to do this on the bottom half like this and then we will go up to about right there there we go just something very very subtle and maybe like in some select areas right here right here there. All right, cool. So we have a little bit of anti-aliasing on that. Nothing crazy. I'm going to also go ahead and I'm going to eye drop the black color. And then we're going to double up some of these lines on the bottom down here. So that it looks a little bit thicker on the bottom. Like that maybe there's a shadow casting um, that is making the bottom half a little bit darker. A little bit darker. Like that. And... Yeah, that should be fine the way that it is. I want to actually pull this out now that I see it like that. Um, and then we'll just put that back. All right, there we go. Cool. So for the background, I'm going to... Actually, we'll do the background last. We'll do the background last. Um, I do want to animate this very slightly. This is bothering me, so I'm going to actually flip this real quick. Um, put that there, and then we're going to do like this. Never mind. We're just going to leave it the way that it was. Um, I'm going to half that. Yeah, that's better. All right, cool, cool. Um... I want to actually 
let me actually undo I'm gonna actually undo the double lines we just did because I want to do I want to see what something looks like real quick so this is something that I feel like I do quite frequently, and as an artist, of course, you do things and it doesn't work. Let's go ahead and act, actually undo that black line because I don't really like that right now. So let's go ahead and actually do that, do that, and I'll move this down by one pixel, and then let's we can start animating this. I'm gonna hit Tab to open up the animation uh, timeline here, and I'm going to go ahead and hit this little plus down here to add a new frame, uh, and then I'm gonna move everything down. So I'm gonna grab the face, and we're gonna move the face down first. So move that down by one pixel, um, and actually wait, no, I, I take that back. We're gonna move. We're going to move everything from here down um, except for the face. So I'm going to move the face with it for now. Move that down by one pixel and then we'll move the face alone back up the one pixel. And then we'll hit select, deselect, I to eye drop, and then G to fill that back in. So now what we have is this. So it's like that piece just went down on its own. Um, and I'm also going to go ahead and fix this little portion that's messed up right there. And yeah, that's that's good. All right, cool. Um, now hit plus again. And this time I'm going to move the slime face up one pixel. And then select, deselect, I, I drop, G to fill that piece back in. Um, and then we're going to hit plus again. I'm sorry, no, we're, we're going to hit delete. Let's hit delete, delete that. And then we're going to hit, we're going to select the second frame uh, and then hit uh, control C with this little cell selected, control C. And then we're going to hit this little plus, and then we hit 4, and then control V. Actually, wait, select it, select it, then control V. That didn't work. Uh, delete it first, sorry. And then we can go ahead and grab this, duplicate cells, and then move it over. But the issue is it's going gonna, it's gonna to mess up the third frame. So we actually have to go ahead and duplicate the third frame as well. So let's go ahead and right-click this, duplicate cells, and then hit 2, and then hit duplicate cells. So now the third frame and the fourth frame, the second frame and the third frame are the same. So we have to go ahead and grab the third frame and move it ahead of the fourth frame. So now we have the first frame, the second frame, the third frame and the fourth frame. So that's what we have. So if we go ahead and play this now, you can see up at the top of this uh, little box here, open that up, hit play. You see this is what we have now, but that's a little bit too fast. Plus we need to do a little bit more things to it. So we're gonna go ahead and change the constant frame rate to, I believe the slower it is, the lower it is, no, the other way around. Uh, 200 milliseconds so that it moves slower But yeah, so I think that's going to be probably it for today. Hope you ladies and gentlemen enjoyed it. Um, have this eye kind of going all wonky like this. But I, say, I can do this all day. I absolutely love animating uh, pixel art like this. So, so yeah, I hope you ladies and gentlemen enjoyed today's tutorial kind of process thing. Um, but uh, yeah, super simple kind of animation. Just, just to guys get you guys' feet wet with it again because like I said it's been a while so I'll see you guys in the next one hope you enjoyed it I'll see you in the next one but until then bye bye